What's that? <laughs> who are you and what are you doing on my YouTube? <laughs> you want to say who you are? I'm here to uh, kick Vikings ass and drink beer and I'm all out of Vikings ass. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been saving that one? <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> Not My name is Torben. I'm here to drink beer. Torben is usually on the other side of the YouTube chat. That's what he looks like if you're wondering. <laughs> okay, so to get the needle binding out of the way, because <laughs> it's very important. I actually did some needle binding this week on my stash busting. I have this much yarn so this left to use. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the boring part for you guys, but got to do a little needle binding. Otherwise, we have to change the name. Drunken Vikings doesn't quite work. Let's see. I have 72 grams left to use of my 596. So I made pouches. That's the rest of the blue yarn. I have to put a leather strap on that. This is with needle tensioned Oslo stitch. Yay. And that one, the red is actually, the orange is not in my stash busting, but I needed to make a hat, <laughs> so uh, that's a bonus. This is with Woad. This is the stuff that um, Lila dyed this year. When she was here, I give her my yarn and she turns it. Oh, it's inside out. That's with Woad? This is, no, not Woad, sorry. <laughs> this is Matter Krupp in Norwegian. Krupp in Norwegian is always great in English. It's made with crap. <laughs> it's uh, it's um, Matter Root. And that one is not needle tensioned. So there you go. Same thickness of yarn. And if they were socks and all needle tensioned, feet, what would you give them? Uh, they wouldn't last <laughs> long enough to have a name. These were the ones I made before I finished them, but I have to tie them off. I did find I have this much yarn left, so they'll get a hair longer. These are wrist warmers in Dalarna. And I still have to finish this damn thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be. Would you like to try it on? No, of course. There you go. And then, can you stick one hand like this and one hand like that and say, I'm a little teapot, short and <laughs> stout? <laughs> here is my handle, here is my spout. Yeah, <laughs> so I have to finish that one. But these, this is the rest of the green and the, the, green and the gray yarn, the two greens and gray. I haven't got an IP as. So I made these. They're looking very homely because it's the rest of the yarn. And dollar up, if you can see it. Okay, so that was the needle binding portion for today. Beer! Okay, <laughs> cheers! I, I'm starting to feel like uh, Antonio Banderas. Oh yeah, and I have the, this much of a hat. Uh, beginning of the movie, uh, The 14th Warrior, with the needle binding banter. <laughs> Got the needle because binding banter in done. In the beginning, when she did it, I understand nothing of it. Yeah. Okay, so but now I'm starting to get the picture. Oh, words, needle words. tension instead of thumb tension. It's, it's, it was needle tension instead of thumb tension. There's a huge difference. At least I know who my So I gotta see who is on first now. I can uh, turn this on and see where we're on. But one thing mm. he gets that it's needle tension. Oh, aren't you cute he in doesn't there? get that it's needle, not pink. <laughs> it's a little dull. <laughs> I just showed him what he looks like on screen. Then I can find the chat and I can see who's here. There's a lot of people here, actually. He's looking kind of pissed at me. And I got three <laughs> thumbs up already. It's probably because of the three minutes of needle binding. One yeah. for <laughs> Not because you guys are here. No, of course not. So we got Charlotte is here. Uh, I think she's first, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's because Torben is here, but Albert was a quick second. Torun is here. Hello, good dog. You guys have to look through. Oh, God, she's got 72 degrees Fahrenheit in Austin, which is 22 mm -hmm. degrees Celsius. It is minus 13 here. <laughs> So, you know, I'm glad you're warm. <laughs> Kiwi's here, and Nella is here, and Heidi, Karin Verva is here. That's his other half, calling to check in on him. She says, take a beer for her. She's stuck with the little one, I'm assuming. PJ Lightning's back, sitting in chilly England in a cold flat, because I can't afford to turn the heating up. Neither can we. That's why we're all wearing wool. Uh, let's see. And you and I are pretty much sticking to one room in the entire house. <laughs> No, the heating's got expensive this year. Uh, at least she has Woolies, hot food, and a good hot water bottle. Ooh, we need a water bottle. That would probably make... Every time we have to get in the bed at night, it's cotton sheets, so they're cold. It's like... <laughs> I need a hot water bottle in the bed, and I'll feel better. Uh, let's see. 
Tornan says uh, she's going to make a confession. I have, haven't have needle bound anything in forever. How dare you show it to my YouTube <laughs> without needle binding? <laughs> no. That's okay, you can drink beer. Uh, but she's been itching to make something lately, and I want to tighten the needle to the needle instead of my thumb. It's kind of cool. It takes a lot, but uh, it's it looks really nice, too. And Moro is here. Albert is making apple glurg. P uh, PJ Lightning also has... What is it with you guys in confessions? It's not New Year's yet. <laughs> PJ has a confession. I'm actually crocheting at the moment. Has to be your Catholic background. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> it is the Catholic background. So everybody else Born and raised New Roman New Catholic. Year, uh, resolutions on the Catholic some New Year's confession. <laughs> okay. Uh, but the crochet hook now will allow that. Uh, I need to get... As long as you don't try to call your crochet needle binding, then you're okay. <laughs> I need to get one of these projects finished by next winter. Getting one finished next month would be nice. You can do it. Aim for the end of the year. Uh, Roger's here from Huntington Beach. This is the one for you, Roger. They're going to get drunk. Well, these two are. <laughs> this I'm one's already it. started. <laughs> <laughs> this one's just going to watch because he's driving. This is Greg, by the way. And Carl. Where's Greg? This is Greg. Eh? What? <laughs> uh, let's see. And we're all, yeah, put flannel sheets up, feels much cozier. It is, and if I was in a home in Duluth, we'd be able to find them easily, but flannel sheets are not easy to find in Norway, are they? Yeah, they are. Are they? Yeah. I, you know I what I want for Christmas? I just saw some at Voss. <laughs> you could, didn't you pick them up? Christmas is coming, Torben. Okay. <laughs> flannel sheets. Okay, then I will look for them because I actually loved those when I was uh, in the United States. And there's a, uh, oh, it's Egan. Matthew's in Egan, Minnesota, and it's 33 there. Well, you can get kind of cold too, but that's actually slightly above zero by one degree, maybe. Patty Norris is here from Loveland, Colorado, USA. I like the city name Loveland. I haven't heard of that one before. Uh, Albert says, "Greg, your Lego Ninjago Ninja Go is mm -hmm. going to is going to send with another thing." Oh, thank you very much. Very, is he sending you Ninja nice. Go? I have questions. What? Is yep. it Ninja Go or Ninjago? Yeah, I have one that question too. In Norwegian, they've always called it Ninjago, but in English, if you in read it, English, it says Ninjago. In English, they say Ninjago. Like or nin Ninja Go. Ninja Go. Ninja Go, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's. That's what I thought so, too, but this came out after yeah. it was in Norway, so all I heard yeah. was the kids going, Ninjago! <laughs> Ninjago. Uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. Shout out to says cool. kid I has flannel, so that's probably where you found uh, it. And Karen Oker is here from Minnesota as well, so we got two from Minnesota. Matthew's from Egan, and Karen is here as too. And Garcia's here from Cold Holland. Okay, let's start drinking. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're too late. Okay, <laughs> oh, you already started. Okay, yeah, we so did. You have to show the beer. I can show the beer, and you have to read it in the dialect that it is. These two are Norwegian. Um, Any good in um, Stavanger? Okay. Stavanger. So. I can prove it. What's not this? See this one. See this one. Yeah, let me prove it. Christmas on fire in Stavanger. Uh, it's from. Uh, uh, West Coast IPA. Salikat Brewery. And what's an Brewery. IPA? IPA is not IPA in <laughs> American, it's IPA like or Indian Pale Ale. Anything. You already can't speak. Pardon? You've hardly had any and you already can't speak. What? what Brewed what? and packaged at Salikat Brewery in Stavangi. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's my turn. It's both of you got to drink it. It's in English. Let's see. <laughs> when we set the name for this beer, we didn't expect our designer to literally set the label on fire. Okay. I thought I spoke fast. But it did <laughs> come out pretty cool. And if you can take 100 IBUs, uh, that's uh, the bitter um, ah, scale. So you know your beer. You probably don't have any problems with us having a little fun on this Christmas label. <laughs> okay. Brewed with a clean yeast strain and mosaic, cryo and citra, Lupomax hops. That wasn't in Norwegian. Did I you know, read it with I... a Stavanger dialect? Uh, that's you. Okay. You want me to read English with the Stavanger yeah, accent? He did well, say if it's, it's written yeah, in English. That's then he has to read it with a Stavanger dialect. I can hold your... Uh, Carl's using a horn today. He's feeling horny. <laughs> <laughs> we set the name for this bear. Uh, we didn't uh, expect our designer to literally set the label on fire. Isn't that his book wall dialect? Yeah, it's it is. Not I think good. so, yeah. Stavanger yeah, dialect <laughs> only works in Norwegian. Um, okay. That's better. Job there. They will never clear it up in English. Yeah. They just talk like Arna. Yeah. Arna Tufte is from Stavanger. Yeah, he has a mild version of it. Yeah, he does. Yeah, but that's better than none. But you did there a little bit anyway. 
Uh, did we have a lovely cider for Greg? Why, yes, we did. <laughs> Greg is still driving. Okay, so how do you like your beer? I, uh, I like Oh, that. there's a skull on it, so, you know, it's got to be good. Of course. Yeah. A Christmas it's skull. It's a burning Santa. It's a burning I mean, Santa. I don't particularly, actually, I don't like beer at all, but I do like the, uh, the, the can of that one very nice. Mm. Okay, so what do you think? Uh, I think this is really good. Um, so far it's in first place? It smells like litter box. It's supposed to. No, that's to. probably my feet. No, it's, it's <laughs> probably the um, citra. Ah. Yeah. No, it smells like no. litter box. This. Get this cat's um, hint of cats. <laughs> <laughs> the citrusy thing makes me not like it. It is uh, too fruity. Okay, so it's currently in first place and in last place. Yeah. yeah. Finally. Do we keep scores? Uh, yep, so we put that in first and last place, I guess. Yeah, you have to. We'll have to put it like. Uh, Don't take it away. I'm taking it away. You got a lot more to drink here. I give it two lemons out of five. You give it two lemons out of five. By the way, Torben, how come we think that you are qualified to criticize this beer? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Torben has a podcast. I have, have a to podcast him. called uh, Quarantine Pills. Yeah. Uh, we're not producing per now because I'm moving and stuff and building a house. But you'll do it again soon so that yeah, you can have soon. something to listen to in yeah. the car. <laughs> and, and, and we drink um, kind of uh, a lot of beer while podcasting. So in the start we are kind of boring and at the end of the podcast we are kind of intoxicated. Funny you should say yeah. that. I was listening to it going, you know, I'm trying to be nice because this is Carl's friend and all. But, oh no, it actually got good <laughs> because the beer was kicking. Yep. No. So uh, that's why I'm here. And it's in Norwegian. It's in Sogning. It's in Sogning, you're not wrong. Yeah, that's the type of Norwegian that even the rest of us have trouble understanding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, now I've got our slippers on, so hopefully my feet will stink less. Next beer, you didn't finish? No, it was so good. <laughs> was stupid. <laughs> but at least it let me resume this time, so I didn't have to restart one. That's the only reason I tapped you on the shoulder when I did. Oh, no, that was good. Gone. Yep, no, okay. I don't know why you was two peeps doing that. It is the third week in the row it's done that, though. Yeah, and it's at the same time, pretty much, also. Yeah, it's a conspiracy. Is it an iPhone? It is an iPhone. Yeah, it's an iPhone. There's the answer. It's the ghost of Steve Jobs. Mm. Uh, <laughs> fun for everybody. I was going to say, because it's on its own network. This, this is on Wi-Fi, the computer, but that one's on my own telephone service, so it could be that, too. Okay, next beer. Okay, pick one. <laughs> pick um, one. Just Greg, you have to pick. Driver. Okay, so Designated Driver quite likes the, uh, well, I'm going to go with packaging because I have no idea about the That's what I would itself. do. Okay. Go for the pretty one. <laughs> I'm going to go with, uh, well, I'm kind of torn between two. Yeah. I really like, well, my favourite colour is purple, so I'm kind of looking at the purple can over here. Yeah. And the other one is a wolf one. The wolf one is over there? Okay. Yeah. The blue wolf. We better go with the, the blue, blue wolf. wolf. Yeah, fine. In okay. uh, honor of Carl. You know, I did. Last your... year we had about, I don't yeah. know, a whole bunch of shot glasses for them to drink with, but these guys are just going to mix it into the same glass from before. As one do. <laughs> it's going into the same mold as mold us before, so. It says we're out of focus now, but I don't said. know why. We can try wiping the. Uh... The blue wolf is. Is that any better? Around. I was going to say, it's a dark beer compared to the last one. Oh, it smells like bubble gum. Nope, I don't know why we're out of focus, but that's probably the alcohol. Oh, yeah, so it does. Yeah, bubble gum. Bubble gum. But yeah. I can see that it's out of focus. Oh, they were wondering why it was so quiet. Torin says we're happy we're back. Juice. Yep, no, PJ it's says, yeah, they lost us because we were buffering, yeah. uh, but that's, yeah, yeah it's, it's it. sometimes it, YouTube just cuts bubble for gum. some reason. Ooh, it's, it's not brewed in accordance with the law of purity. Nope. Uh, well, we are out of focus, Elfman? though. I don't know why. What? Elstman Burgeri, it's from uh, somewhere, Trondheim. Oh, then you have to read the back in the Trondheim dialect. Yes, come here, Claudia. If you know Runa, Runa is from Trondheim, so they're going to just have to talk like Runa does. This is the Blue Wolf one. Why did the Blue Wolf strike you as something we needed to try, Torben? Why did the Blue Wolf cross the road? Why? To get to the other side of the gotcha. mountain? Oh, God. <laughs> And the uh, Euler Christmas beer. So this is Austman. Austman Brigitte, product of Norway, so it's okay. Okay, read that in the uh, Trondheim dialect. Euler, the mächtigste of høytider. 
Prega av ribbefett, juletre, tørre småkaka, skiturer i marka og høylytte familieselskap. Herre er et maltrikt og fyldig øl. Elegant krydra med smaka som hører jula til. Austmann juleøl er her for å lose deg gjennom jula med senkede skuldre og et salig sinn. Heidi's here, Heidi Lindseth. Lindseth, what do you think? Does that sound like uh, your dialect? Better. <laughs> we did so, ask Runa to come, by the way. He had other plans, unfortunately. Max is here. What about uh, not brewed in the... Uh, no beering What? <laughs> what? No, it, is it just me, or does this smell like banana? Yeah, it does. Bubble gum. Well, that's definitely not oh, my favorite. Uh, uh, when I was a uh, kid, we had this yellow... Oh, um, it does! Mm -hmm. you must, did you smell it? I've smelt it. Yellow chewy gum called Boog. Yeah. It smells like the yellow one. Mm. It's 4.7. Yeah. By the way. The other one. How was, was the eight, other one? Eight. Oh, Jesus, you are getting drunk tonight. <laughs> for some reason, bananas, at least in my opinion, works better than uh, lemons for beer. Yeah. yeah, this is the first one was eight. So, uh, how many bananas? Uh, this one is 4.7. Five bananas. Mm -hmm. So, we've had, what's it so far? It's, is it okay. three that you said? But, uh, Lemons? Two. Two, lemons. Two lemons. Two lemons, four bananas. Okay, uh, which one's better? The, the wolf or the Santa. fire? Fire is better. Which one about you, Carl? Yeah, the, I'm going with the banana one. Okay, uh, this one is Carl's favorite. This one is Torben's favorite. It's a tie so far. Okay, next beer. Oh, wow. Max says, I've taken a break from gnaw biting and trying to do some slip stitch What's crochet numbers? based on the extinct YouTube channel, but 4. the same 7. person who created Nylak and uh, We call that Pjoning in Norwegian. Uh, Pjoning, P J O N I N G, is the slip four. stitch crochet. Um, and it is proof. pretty much slip stitch crochet, oh, right. but you have to get the gauge. And they have the funny looking crochet hook. I have, look at, we're blurry. I don't know why, but I think it kind I of do. fits for the alcohol. I know. You're seeing double? No, iPhone. That's, no, it was fine, all these other... <laughs> <laughs> such a bastard. <laughs> okay. Did some of the lick the lamps? Uh, no, I even Again. rubbed it with my shirt. <laughs> Again. Again. By the way, uh, Heidi says you're bang on with your Trondheim. <laughs> Thank you. My uh, grandmother is from Trondheim. <laughs> it's called uh, Silmukkari. Oh, God. That's finished, though. Silmukkamarki. Okay. I've just Hakuna made... Matata. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Hakuna <laughs> Matata. I only know one phrase in Finnish, I, and I don't think it's correct. No. <laughs> Do you think Hakuna Matata is any better? <laughs> no, that's Swahili. But, uh... So did you want to tell the story about your Hakuna Matata Finnish? Yeah, no, my mother has no idea about popular culture. And she was reading The Lion King for my niece. And she's reading and reading, and then she comes to uh, Hakuna Matata, and she pronounces it Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Jag fan, det finns kvar här. Hakuna matata. Hakuna matata. Are there any flippin' fins here, she says. <laughs> we have at least two in the channel, by the way. Okay. All right, well, we'll just stay blurry because I guess it's fitting for this episode, by the way. Okay, next beer. Okay. Start wearing purple. Purple. Well, this time it is Hansa Julabrig. And this is from... Jeez, I don't know why you have me looking for this. Oh, right, this is... Then. For Bergen. another 4.7. If it's from Bergen, then you can do the dialect. Okay, read the back. No, no. He... In Bergen dialect. Bergen. Your tradition is actually all the time, Jonsal. For a fair tradition, we use good old Bergen techniques for an extra well-lagged Julebrig. Eat this Julematen. All the kids for Higgins Hill. Good Jul. Hilsen backer locket til fetteren til frisøren. Ok, we're not going to translate him this year. It doesn't really matter. Nope. But anyway... I don't know why we invited you, Torben. <laughs> Pardon? I don't know why we invited you. Yeah, that's your problem. We just said beer and he said okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Pruda says she spent her afternoon baking Christmas cookies for it with her st or for her students. Oh, that's nice of oh, you. Another fairly dark beer. I don't bake unless I have to. This has no strong sense. I don't know how I've destroyed my sense of smell. You know what? Okay, what I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the scent smeller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because. Uh, Greg has got to drive, so he can't drink. And I told him there's a Viking house. Thing. I mean, that just smells like regular beer. It's Hansa. It's got no extra no pungent. No. 
And the reason Quality I'm not drinking is because I'm allergic to beer. No, I it just, just smells like, like beer. beer. Okay, it just it's smells just like regular beer. So, Carl, okay. which is this your favorite, or where do you rank this? It goes in between the lemons and the bananas. Okay, so great. This is beer, beer. Yeah. Uh, what about you? I kind of grew up on this. So uh, to me, this is just bad. Yeah, this so is the standard from which everything else is judged. <laughs> Do you feel like breaking out in a rendition of Barbara Streisand's Memories? Not really. Okay. What do you think, I, Torben? I, it tastes uh, unfinished. Unfinished. Ooh, yeah. that's so, going to uh, go in the this is, it. It smells and tastes like beer mash. Beer mash? Mm, yeah, before you boil it and add the yeast and stuff. So oh, we've had that in the village I, once. I, I'll, I'll give this half a banana. Half a banana? Half a banana. <laughs> oh, oh. That's bad. PJ's printer afternoon practicing Tai Chi, and I meant I think you meant Kung Fu, but Kung Gu sounds pretty good too. In the park and taking photos of a red kite that was hunting above me. You've had an eventful afternoon. Okay, next one. I'm choosing Agir. Agir is actually 20 minutes away from here through a couple tunnels, two tunnels. It is um, in Flom. Yeah. So do you um, have to have the Flom dialect when you read this, which is basically here? Yeah, that's why he should read it. You want to? Yeah, you get to read. You haven't read yet. Uh, I'm Sogling, Carl. Yeah? Good luck. Yes. You have to read uh, it like Sogning a... gave the bottle to the Nunfjoring and told him to read it in Sogning. <laughs> <laughs> Det aller fleste har en tradition med å se på tre nøtter til askepott før julefreden. Før julefreden kan senke seg. Hva er vel mer eh, passende til en, en, en tjekkisk raud lager? Well, he sounds a bit like Tufa. I was just going to say, but Tufa's from here, so I figured he's channeling it. Yeah. yeah. This is from the man who lived in Songdal for ten years. But I'm venture sig foran fjernsynet på julaften. This is written in very stiff Norsk, not the way Songdal people normally speak. Don't worry, the English speaking here are judging you. Smaker best til dubbing fra en man som på alle roller, som en man man som... På alle roller, og ellers kan det meste... Jeg er ikke entirely sure what they're doing her. They're coming with some kind of barb to Harald Mele. Who's the, Harald Mele? The guy who basically... Nor in Norway you don't usually dub uh, television. No? But when you do, you use Harald Mele to play all the roles. Yeah. And he does it with different, slightly different voice for the <laughs> girls. Okay. I, you know what, is it bad if I kind of like that this episode is blurry? <laughs> Very clear. Very clear. You threw the drinking horn. It's clear in <laughs> color. All right. Well, you've got the glass to show the color. It looks a little reddish. Yeah, it is a red because lager. Because it's Christmas. So. There you go. This, by the way, is another four point seven percent. Smells like that. Put something in it that yeah. shouldn't be there. But something died in this. <laughs> But they do go with the Viking theme, because Egger Brewery has a building that looks a lot like a stave church. I love that I'm holding this very wobbly over my computer. I should probably rethink that. It's like eating toilet paper. <laughs> it's a bad idea, and it tastes like nothing. Oh, it's not blurry for Kiwi. That's good, then. It's just yeah. blurry on my computer. I, I really want, don't Maybe want to throw Egger under the bus, because I really love the place and the food and the people. But... Um, same. I can't in good conscience say that this is drinkable. No? See, I thought I would try to lo reload it, but... Uh... Oh my god, I tried to reload it, it wasn't responding, so Doesn't I massive clicked it and opened appetizing. up seven windows. But uh, that's the uh, strange thing about beer. If you bought two and you taste one and, okay, it's awful, save the last one. Wait a half a year, then open it. Maybe it's good. Save the lesson for that. Well, Turun and Kiwi says it's not blurry, but it's very blurry on PJ's laptop. And it's still, you know what, I reloaded. It's still very blurry on mine, PJ, so it's not just you. But are you using a Mac? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay, for those of you who, uh, let's see, don't find it blurry. Go Apple. It 
I don't know how you can see it. <laughs> it's really blurry on mine. So now it's even worse for PJ. <laughs> oh, you're doing blur inception. <laughs> Blurception. And blurception, yeah. And of course, I've got the little delay. Uh, yeah, PJ says it might be the res. Uh, Albert says it might be the resolution. It could be mine, but it usually works. It's not blurry on Patty's iPhone. There you go. See, somebody's Apple product is working. Well, Hi, Patty, by the way. Uh, sometimes blind chickens find food. Nash is here. You have to come back to Gudvangen. I haven't seen your face here in a while. It's That's not fair. Probably just the She's joining us from Spain. Is smart enough to not lick the screen. Yeah. Probably. Okay, so what are we going to have you lick next? Okay, so this is where on... <laughs> well, we where does this go in the ring? It's a little bit early in the night to have that sunkers from you. So two, two bananas. bananas. That's only two bananas, so it's yeah. definitely not at the top. Okay, uh, then I think you have to have a Nordlands Euler. Ekte Nordnorsk Euler, Brigit Polyfinista Rovar. 4.5% uh, and it's got this nice little picture of a Viking ship, I think, out on the sea. And I'm assuming because it says you have to speak Northern Norwegian. Where is it? I can do that. It's basically my it's dialect, but Northern with more cursive. Anyway, Norway. it looks like this. Look at that nice picture of the Viking so, ship. theoretically, shouldn't you be doing the Northern dialect, seeing as he's just done your dialect? <laughs> and Maybe. this one is 4.5%. Which is... Is that not accurate? Is that not how this should work? 4.5%. And, and you have to be 18 plus, by the way. Stop hugging the bear. Alright. <laughs> well, I have to show it long enough for people to realize oh, it's blurry on mine. You can't read it. Okay, who's gonna speak North where is it Northern Norway, by the way? It just said North North Nor Norway. You always ask after I open the can. <laughs> you run to my plans. Does it say? Here we are. Oslo. <laughs> <Uslo. laughs> okay, so Oslo, I'm pronounced Uslo in Norwegian this is, is nowhere made near in the Oslo. north. Oslo. So are you going to read it with an Oslo dialect, or an, I think you have to do Northern Norway anyway, because we got other representations of Oslo here. Ekte no norsk juler, brygga på fineste råvara. Farsken satan steker tyse ta for en hotel. I don't think that's what it says. <laughs> Julerøl fra Nord-Norge har en unik smak og lang tradition bak seg. Nordlands julerøl har en mørk og fyldig karakter, en god sødme og en balansert fuktighet og bitterhet. Ut på lapphavet passer ølet utmerket til nordnorsk julemat, Oh, kalle no norske vinterkvelder. God jul! <laughs> so, um, it, very uh, Christmas. It, it, it goes well with uh, Christmas food from the northern parts of Norway. Yeah, and I believe so, their Christmas food is just less starvation than usual. Yeah, <laughs> less starvation. and, and uh, a fermented whale. Mm. Yeah, they do have fermented whale up there. But don't they have ribba everywhere? But they just don't know if ribba is lamb or... I don't or think no, they have sheep they just or uh, take, uh, pigs. They just take some shellfish and fish, boil it in one pot and call yeah. it ribba. <laughs> okay. So you have to boil the um, shellfish. Uh, shellfish. Mm -hmm. um, well, fortunately, I was... Till it's soft. Oh. <laughs> May I? Of course. Thank so you. fortunately, I found out Sean, this before Sean. I went to Carl's uh, house uh, last year. For He said, we're going to have ribba. But by the way, ribba in uh, Selja is not the same as ribba in Oslo. Because <laughs> I would have been... Well, it's pinna have, shirt. You in, have ribba and then you have pinna ribba. Is that? Oh, you could have called it pinna ribba. Oh. Yeah. Okay, what do you think of the beer? In Selja, it definitely smells different. Pinna chat is ribba, and <laughs> svin ribba like is små ribba or svin ribba. Okay. Okay, what do we think? Um, it's okay. It's uh, very middle of the road. Uh, it's like... It's Christmas beer. That's a very safe answer. Yeah, yeah but it's, <laughs> it's a very safe beer. Yeah. <laughs> No bananas, no lemon, no unidentifiable... Um, uh, I give this uh, three haka peak. <laughs> What's a haka peak? It's what you use to kill baby seals. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's like a big pole with a spike on it, you know? Arr, arr. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Norway! <laughs> Roger, my friend Roger's on there anyway, and one thing he would say every time they saw somebody that was being cute, they would say, baby seals, baby seals, kill them all! And then, like, we're welcome to Norway, Roger. They actually do that. Well, then you need a haka peak. <laughs> so this one's for you, Roger. What do you think, Carl? It's meh. It's meh. How many haka peak do you give it? Not bad. I could easily get drunk on this. But yeah? uh, I wouldn't remember it as particularly good bear afterwards. No. Okay, so this is not number one. Is it the worst? No. 
Which one's the worst so far? Uh, this one. I the one, one that Carl likes the best? And no, you think oh, the no. egg is the worst? Um, uh, the, this one. You think the Hans, banana. the purple one. The, yeah. Okay, so these two are the worst so far. I think I still have bananas in first. Hmm. I get it lost. yippee ki <laughs> No, I'm not kidding. It says yippee ki -yay on it. So this would be the Bruce Willis beer that Torben brought with him. Uh, Hans Gruber. And of course, it's got the two sevens. What does that mean? If those of you remember from last year, Sivfjell. Yeah. Seven mountains. It's actually a seven and an F. And this is... Six. Six percent. Oh, you guys are getting drunk tonight. Okay. Okay. Now, so you have to read this in what dialect? Wasn't it? Well, that's Bergen, obviously. Uh-huh. Steve Fjell is Bergen. Why do you call it? Uh, wasn't that the ones last year with the horror, horribly perfumed uh, yep. nightmare bag? That was. We almost got it. Actually, I think we might have got it again. But, um, so, why do they call it Steve Fjell, Seven Mountain? No, because uh, just like uh, Rome in Italy mm -hmm. and uh, Detroit in Michigan, uh, Bergen is uh, founded among uh, seven mountains. Mm. Yeah, seven mountains. Yes. Oh, yeah, because... It's hard to call them mountains with the straight face from Gudvangen. <laughs> it's uh, difficult. That's but, pretty... But uh, slightly aggressive hills. So northern Minnesota, where I come from, there's two of you that are there. I'm from Duluth, and from Duluth and northern, it gets very hilly. And we got palisades and everything. And uh, my ex comes to uh, United States, or comes and sees it for the first time. He says, that's not a hill. That's flat. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, while we're on the Hans Gruber beer, yes. just need to point out that uh, recently Bruce Willis has weighed in on the subject of whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Yippee ki -yay. And uh, <laughs> he has officially declared that uh, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. So anyone who says it is, you're wrong. Yep, Die Hard is a Christmas movie in my opinion. Okay, who's going to be uh, Bergen She's and read this? No, it's your turn to it's be... It's your turn to be Bergen. Semi-German. Bergen. Bergen in English. <laughs> Bergen. See how much hate I get. It's going to be a lot. <sighs> oh no, we'll find out. They love your jacket, by the way. You're going to... En god malt base med inslag av kex och balanse... Can't fucking read. That's because you've been drinking. His eyes are now like that screen. Yeah. American hops? Yeah. Aromat of a Christmas tree in it. With peaches and apricots, because that's Christmas. Combined with a passing bitterness that makes the oil perfect to the pinna chat. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Good jul from Siv Fjellbryggeri. You want to translate that roughly? I have to see this with my own eyes. Okay, you can read it. Do the English translation of that one, because it's kind of funny. A good malt base with hints of um, cookies and bread, <laughs> balanced by um, really, um, enormous Tradition. amounts of uh, fruitiness from American hop types. Oh my god, it does actually say it. I know. Aroma of citrus, <laughs> Christmas tree, peach and apricot combined with a um, suitable bitterness makes this beer perfect for pinichot. Now I have a machine gun. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. It's a Bruce Willis one. It's they so actually good. put Christmas tree in the, yeah. <laughs> it sounds absolutely horrible. I okay, while well, you guys it. drink oh. that, Greg, you have to stand up and show your jacket. They like I it. Do. Yep. Uh, we need to twirl around for us. We give you very limited space to twirl. There we go. Whoops, wait, got to go up a little higher. You You're too tall. Dollar. There we go. Keep. Don't need any dollars, thank you. <laughs> Quick, give me some ones. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Where did you get that, Greg? A lunar find. Oh. A lunar find? This smells perfumey. Can I smell? Well, it has apricots and Soon. peach in it and pine tree, Soon. apparently. Apparently, and cookies. Torben likes it. I think it's Ooh. good. Wow. 
But PJ says you know, there's only so. there's only one Christmas movie, and that's Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> Actually, we used to watch that no, at Christmas. No, it's Flo Clippa Grand Prix. Flo Clippa Grand Prix, yeah. That one is um, the one with the... Uh, I don't know if that one made it over there, but you got like a penguin. Uh, and it's, I have no idea what the crow. other one is. The, I'm sorry, he's a crow. Yeah. Smells <laughs> and a hedgehog. I just insulted all of Norway. And a hedgehog. And a hedgehog. And, and smells uh, sickly uh, perfumey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's perfumery. nasty. Yeah. Warned you. Yeah. Uh, no. Nasty. It's this. I give this uh, five machine guns. Five machine oh, wow. Guns. That goes to the this head case. This isn't yeah. even worth a single bullet to me. It's, uh, <laughs> it's probably good perfume, not good beer. <laughs> Oh, Najwa's gonna go. See you later, Najwa. Thanks for saying hi. Okay, so is this like the new number one for anybody, or we're just yeah, for him it's a no, number it's one. A number two. Number two for number you. Two. That's not always a good thing. <laughs> when you, it's obviously top of your list. Uh, it's dead lost. It's. Uh, <laughs> if okay. I had the sink nearby. So I this is Carl's favorite. Mm -hmm. Peruta one. says in capital letters, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, according to Bruce Willis, it's a Bruce Willis movie, not a Christmas movie. Uh, let's see. What as much it? as I love it, it's not a Christmas movie. PJ says, uh, I've been making up a language based on Old Norse and Icelandic. Listening to you, maybe I should chuck in some Norwegian too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Torrin says, agreed, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Christmas is central to the plot. If it wasn't Christmas time, he wouldn't have been there. I agree. Yeah, the Nakatomi Plaza in September. It's not a crow, <laughs> it's a magpie, by the way, says Car Karin. The movie Your wouldn't... Karin. Yeah. Is that... yeah, you it's have to agree magpie. with her if you don't agree with her. <laughs> the movie wouldn't be the same if it was just a gro dog. Mm. One of the vacation days that Gro Harlem Brunkland gave us. Yeah. Uh, and Albert writes in their trainer to tell Ascapot, Ascapot, which is, uh, what is it, three nuts for Cinderella? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it translates to. And then Car uh, Karen, or Karen Okra writes, Christmas movie Cinderella and the Prince in Norway. That's not the same one? It's a bit nutty. Train up to Tlaskapot? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, Harald Mele is uh, the old one. It's not Harald Mele. Nope. He's yeah. called something else. Karin would know. Karin would know. What, uh, how did you like that beer, by the way? No, that you're still on the fruity stuff? I'm yeah, I'm still on the Hans Gruber. <laughs> Hans Gruber, okay. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go for the... Nah, if, he was, if he was raised on this, I can see why he turned to international terrorism. Uh, and jumped off the <laughs> Nakatomi Plaza. Have you noticed his voice is starting to get a little bit more down here now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's smiling a lot this more too. This is a ginger one, I'm interested. This one says, Endli Yule, gingerbread and Christmas ale. Endli Yule means uh, finally Christmas in this Nurgirl. Isn't this the Danish one, actually? No, it's not. Nurgirl? No, <laughs> no, no. It's based on Tarje Vegan. Uh, Tarje Vegan? Der Boden underlig Nurgelen. Nurgelen. I hope you finished no, your uh, fruity perfume. I'm done with my fruity perfume. And this one is four and a half. So this is one of the weaker beers that we brought. <laughs> okay. and you This have is to... the one we bought in uh, Gudvangen. Yeah, yeah, we did. We got it at Jokker yeah. here. What is the, um, where is it from? And you have to read the no, no, before you open some, it. It's <laughs> uh, southern parts of Norway, isn't it? Yeah, it would have to be. It's uh, Stavangeri, no, probably even further south. Christian Sandal. Uh, Christian Sandal. Yeah. All right, Christian Sandal well, dialect. It's, it's actually made in Denmark. <laughs> I told you, I told you, Nurgirl is actually Danish. Because look, it would be like, what, Nurkular or something? Like Nurgirl. <laughs> no, but, no, no, but it, it, it is, uh, Nurgirl is from Norway, but yeah. um, they probably... Made it at a Danish. It's. Uh, we'll have to have a little. Okay, okay so, you have so to read we it have to Danish. read a Danish accent. <laughs> Tarja Vegan, is that uh, Ibsen or no? No, we are at this place, so I don't think it's him, it's a poem. Yeah? You can um, smell it. <laughs> I want to smell it. Uh, by the way, um, I don't dislike that smell. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, Danish to a Norwegian sounds like Norwegian with a potato in your mouth. I just insulted Denmark. But oh, actually, that no, is a type of Oh, actually, that smells like good. I like the smell of it. It's worse than that. It smells like... Um, it smells like clothes. It sounds like uh, somebody from Oslo who has been to the dentist and have their tongue paralyzed. Therefore, I think you should read it with a Danish dialect. <laughs> no, girl. <laughs> good luck, Hakuna Matata. Endly you. I feel this in you, 
Det smager jyligt bedst i Max. Nødvendig øl er fuldbordet i en sweet Christmas bear. With the taste of all Christmas in the baked goods. I hope Marie is not watching. She's from Denmark. Good. Silky mug or yule Sweet, silky and Christmas spice. Pass it to yule cougar. Um, that was pretty good. Okay. So what does that actually mean, what you just read? <laughs> it, you can have that one with Christmas cake. Yeah, it tastes Karen like says, Knutrison. Knutrison, yeah. Knutrison. Uh, PJ says, Drat, the phone rang and I dropped everything to answer it and now I've lost my crochet hook. I hate it when that You know what? I had to go and get my popcorn. I put the popcorn in the microwave and then I decided to sit down. Never leave the popcorn popping in the microwave and go sit down. So then I realized the popping is starting to slow down and you don't want to burn the popcorn. So I run to go get it and dragged my needle biting all the way across from the living room to the kitchen. So I feel your pain. Uh, are you still as worried about burning food as you used to be? Uh, that's when the food is done, when the smoke alarm goes off. Yeah, the garlic bread the other day. Oh yeah, go ahead, tell the story. No, she was really worried because she thought she had destroyed the garlic bread. Yep, I thought I overburned it. No, no. Uh, this is how you get a good singing voice. You need the... Uh, uh -huh. yeah, charcoal. <laughs> Just like my mother, my dad. Uh, by the way, another Christmas movie, uh, PJ writes, and I agree with this one, It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, no, you're not dating yourself now because I grew up watching It's a Wonderful Life, too. We need, and uh, Miracle we on need, 34th uh, Street. Oh, yes, that's a great one. Yeah, black and white. Don't do the Oh, yeah, stuff. yeah. No, uh, no, no. God, this shit is weird tasting. This made me wish I had the stomach flu. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bear. Well, it, at least if I was tasting this in uh, any other context, I wouldn't guess bear in a million years. Somebody put a car battery in the fermentation tank. <laughs> Should we be rating these by smell? I think, oh it, my I God. think it smells like cloves. Yeah, Greg and I would like this one. Yeah. This one <laughs> smells like a mixture of cloves and gingerbread. Yeah, it's lovely. Maybe it is. Okay, and what did you think, Carl? Other that you, you if a blind Danish teetotaler totaler was described what bear was supposed to be, and then he sent to the grocery shop to buy the ingredients, <laughs> grocery shop. and he speaks Danish, and well, nobody understands Danish, even the other Danish. Yeah. Then this is probably what he would come up with. Okay, so this is number one on your list. Fuck no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Um, this would get a 20 minute rant on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the 20 minute rant. You have to finish that now because you decided no, I I'm only need one glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is this, uh, which is the worst now? We still have your two favorites. Let's remind, this is Torben's favorite. This is Carl's favorite. It's horrible. Interesting that Carl would like the blue wolf the most. Strange. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so which one's the new worst favorite now? Should we be... Uh voting these by scent as well. These we could, but are... then you and I think this one, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. And worst? <laughs> this one is worst, worst in your opinion? The worst, in my opinion, was Perfume this one. one. for me. This one's the worst smelling one, in my opinion, because it just smells like pills. Regular beer. Okay. It's Christmas. Perfume one want. smells yeah. worse. I would say that the perfume but... one is still worse than this one. This isn't really offensive to my tastes, but <laughs> it's not This is offensive to humanity. <laughs> <laughs> not the bear. It's like I think that it gets the lowest. Why did you show up to this contest? You have. Anne Morrow says Danish Norse dialects. They all sound the same to me. I got to agree. And until I came you here, you can't be bloody serious. No. no. I know that the Swedish sounds more enunciated ah, than that. Give me a random sentence in English and I'll translate it to Norwegian, my dialect, mm -hmm. and my best approximation of Danish. I love Denmark. Jeg elsker Danmark. Ja. Jeg elsker Danmark! Sykle kugle! Kugle bæt! Okay. And if it was uh, Swedish, it'd be... Jeg elsker Danmark. Jeg elsker Danmark, ja. Ja. Let's see. Uh, PJ says, like, Klingon. <laughs> um, let's see. That one we save for last because that's actually not. Pruda says cloves and like, gingerbread, so oh. it smells like my kitchen. I need to be in your kitchen. <laughs> Liquefied kitchen. That might be yeah. what this is. Okay. Liquefied kitchen. He just says, I'm going to get my kefir mead syrup. It's uh, different. You know, this is. Oh, you're um, going to hate um, the rest um, of the beers now. Filter uh, yeah. in, in the kitchen. Um, 
fan. Yeah. Yeah, the extraction yeah. fan. Sometimes you have to clean those. Yeah. And if you hold them up, some thing will drip down. That sounds like ours. That's this. <laughs> <laughs> After you bake cookies. I, yeah. I'm, uh, Suspicion that I'm going to like the next bear, no matter what it is, because <laughs> of a concept called perfect by comparison. I'm not so sure because you're going to be mixing it with whatever dregs yeah, are this left will, in your bag. Yeah, your this glass. will probably leave some taste. So, which one's in the worst, the last place for you? <laughs> this one. That one is the Nurgur also in the, <laughs> the last place for you? No, the Sinfjell. Uh, this one is your last place one. Okay. <laughs> Greg just put more in, in Torben's cup. Unfortunately, aren't you wishing you had all the small Carl, shot glasses? may I borrow your swords? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not annoying you for once. I will change no, his no. religion. No, but the, don't he, worry, we have not two Nurgud. I have to work, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have another Nurgud. We tried this one last year. It was the uh, white one that was Christmas spice ale. Yes. And you thought it smelled like perfume. So it doesn't surprise me that you didn't think this one was. But anyway, so this year we got that one. And then the golden Christmas ale Nurgud. <laughs> and of course it's Danish. So this is your turn to read it, uh, Torben. Ooh. The uh, percentage is somewhere on here. Yeah, who's the percent? 4.5 or... Oh, seven. there it is. 4.5. Yep, yeah. it's one of the weaker ones. You haven't even started on these ones. I know. Okay, <laughs> Danish. <laughs> Pop it open, and first you're going to read it in Danish. Oh, you're fucking uh, Just so that everybody knows, it's 10 to 7. We are going overtime. Oh, no, I wrote this one will go along because it's Christmas. <laughs> the last one, we went okay. an hour and a half. Denne øl er jul. Er en britisk golden ale. Denne ølstil er en modernisering av en klassisk pale ale. Vi har moderniseret den yderligere med krydder og mælkesukker lagt ruse. Gul i fagen og rul. Fyldt i spicy smag. Næsten som chai latte. Oh, you put milk in it? Yeah. Chai latte, dear? It's not like a chai latte. Anyway, by the way, that was bang on with your Danish, in my opinion. Thank you. That was really good. Yours was, you know, the same voice you use when you're trying to be a troll. Uh, it <laughs> I was worried about where she was going with that then. It does not contain milk. It's lactose. So it's it's gonna remind him of chai Make latte, sugar. a beer that tastes like chai latte. Oh, this is oh. going to be yeah, ah. this is gonna hurt. Yes. Carl is seasoning his horn, says Albert. <laughs> and kefir meat is what Perut is asking to. I gotta say that kind of struck me too. What is kefir exactly? It's like um, fermented milk. Fermented milk, yeah. Between sour milk and yogurt so somewhere. Sour milk, fermented milk, and mead. That's what PJ's making. Oops. Drink Jesus woman! <laughs> did you just call him a woman? <laughs> yes, because he did the very current like mistake her. <laughs> mistake? I don't know if that was a mistake, but you got a lot of head on that. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we call that. That's a lot of head. <laughs> yeah. But meanwhile, you two, <laughs> the drunk ones. I gave Carl a lot of head. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom if you keep that up. <laughs> Okay, I Okay, this is horrible. I need to smell. <laughs> oh, need to, oh, 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 oh. Soap. Ah, ah, is it soap? That's what you call the last one, perfume. Holy that one. testicle Tuesdays. So it just smells like regular beer to me. Okay, you should taste oh, it. Oh no, that's a soapy beer. Yeah, that's smell soapy that again. beer. That smells like soap. Lano for litno, lano for That's the, uh, the um, fabric. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, you this is what kids. normal beer smells like to me. No, Lano yeah, okay. is uh, the soap for kids. And you're from uh, <coughs> Britain, yeah. Yeah, I'm from the side uh, part of Britain. When you have a Ooh. bubble bot and you accidentally drink some of the bo uh, bot bottle. Yeah. Oh, God, is that what it tastes like? Oh, dear. Yeah. Bubbly bath water? It does smell like Lano for Litno, Lano for Stuart. Lano. Yeah, it, it tastes like Lano. Lano is like Lano, L-A-N-O, and it's... I a, still can't believe you The commercial is like Lano, uh, like Lano for big people and Lano for little people. The only blessing I conceive of this is that and it foams is so insanely that there isn't oh, yeah. really a lot of bear hair. No, it's a lot of... you got a lot of head. I'm sorry, there's no other way to say that. Did you mean another one? There's like, I, look how much beer is left in the bottle. You've got like nothing but foam on that thing. Give me it. I genuinely <laughs> thought that Danish people understood bear, but this... Give it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so is this your, uh, not your number one? Is that what you're saying? 
This is competing with the perfume. I don't go so for perfume. It's kind of maybe that far down the drains. It's uh, hard to say what sucks harder. But if you mix that one with this one, because they're two nergers. Maybe it will be good. <laughs> I think you need to try that now that you spoke up. <laughs> minus and minus is plus in mathematics, ah, okay, but not enough. always in alcohol. Okay, so now we are mixing the two nergers. By the way, they oh had a third wife. one. They had the third one was the white one. Mixing the two. <coughs> it smells like um, a diet coke. <laughs> really? It probably tastes like diet coke. Though. It just smelled like this. Do I smell like that? You had two nostrils. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, tab extra. Okay. The good old fashioned one. Okay. <laughs> the one that said on the label if you drink this, you won't have any babies. Oh, that yeah. one. <laughs> oh, God. You yeah, drink this. Smell awful. You won't have any friend, any friends, and you won't have any any kind of progress in your you life whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Netflix, Carl, you turn Matt, Danish well. and die. <laughs> no, I want to be nice this time to you. You should try. Do so, getting in the Christmas spirit, is there any nation we haven't no, uh, insulted yet? I any more to this. Greg, where in Somerset are you from, says Garcia. Uh, in between Bristol and Bath, a um, little place called Chelwood. It's like 70 houses. Good luck finding that place. Um, and uh, yeah, that's where I'm from. Yeah. So what do people do there? Drink cider. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. I guess we're going cider next, by and, the way. And no, that's last. Oh, oh cash yeah, welfare yeah. checks, or do they do anything? Uh, farmer land? It's or? More, mainly farmer <laughs> area. Mainly. So you are the people that uh, gave the Welsh their bad reputation? Yeah. So this was your sheep that keep stealing. Yes. And then they, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Oops, sorry. I have to do it like this so we can try to get everybody in I there. remember we ran into a bunch. We went to um, like a science-y type place called At Bristol in uh, with school. And when we there, were there, they for some reason thought it was a great idea to have us and a Welsh school turn up at the same time. Uh-huh. So we've got... So uh, sheep owners and sheep shaggers show up at the same time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they turn up and now they you're go, oh, look at, They turn up and they go, oh, look, we're from Somerset. We ride our tractors. And we turn around and we go, oh, yeah, so you're, we're Welsh and we shag our sheep. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, war begun. Feel the Christmas spirit. <laughs> okay, so, uh, by the way, Garcia, she's been to Somerset. Toilet? And no, I'm reaching because I can't reach here. Okay. <laughs> no, probably do need the toilet. Uh, I actually did go to the bathroom before we started today for just this reason. Oh, no, that's not that. That's the okay, beer. Just, just, just <laughs> no, I spilled beer on the couch. I think I should go and have a quick cigarette. She's laughing at this. I know. That's yeah. Oh, it's the reason. beer. <laughs> uh, okay, and then Pruda, no, PJ says... Uh, I love it too. Been ordered to check to cut back on my dairy though because I also love coffee made with 100% pure milk plus cream. This is the um, kefir and uh, mead. I make coffee from honey coffee. water fermented using milk kefir grains. All right. Um, has anybody else had that? I haven't had that. Carl is seasoning his horn. I liked that one. Okay. <laughs> All right, so... Um, You're not going to take this opportunity to go and rinse out your glass so that you don't have those tastes in it. Maybe anymore. I should. <laughs> Maybe you should. All right, then, uh, more questions for Greg. Well, of course, don't leave it for Carl. Ooh, because, there we go. you know, leave his horn and let <laughs> oh. it... Yeah. Mm. All right. So, uh, well, tell me more about Somerset. What do you want to know? No, uh, how, are you celebrating, how do you celebrate Christmas in Somerset? Not the rest of England, just Somerset. I don't think we have anything specific for Somerset, yeah. actually. I think we're just kind of like, okay, turkeys. I mean, <laughs> we, we tend to pluck our own turkeys, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or at least used to. Uh, Mum used to, a couple of Christmases in a row, she was um, unemployed. Oh, yeah. And so she was hired for plucking turkeys. Plucking turkeys. Though. Yep. We did pluck a chicken in the village. Yes. And then people were really worried. They were like, "Oh no, you can't! Uh, you can't pluck a chicken in the village because the tourists are going to hate it and uh, <laughs> you're going to scare them and it's going to give them this bad opinion." And now, no, they were lining up taking pictures. And they, yep. well, you're going to scare the other chickens if you pluck a chicken in front of them. No, they were hacking at all the remains at the bottom. So but yeah, no. they they didn't they didn't use to cut the head off of yeah. the turkey before they plucked it. They just yeah. took the turkey knocked it on the head mm. and then plucked it oh, so yeah. it was killed because they bashed it on the head <laughs> and this particular humane. time they 
didn't bash it hard enough. So mum oh. was halfway through plucking this turkey and the thing goes... Mm. So now do you... Gobble, gobble. <laughs> yeah, but do you pluck the turkey the same way we pluck the chicken? Which basically, you take the chicken and you have it upside down, tie its feet with a rope, dip it into boiling water for about three seconds and then take it out again so it kind of loosens up the... Don't think that they boiled... I don't think they put it in boiling I would water. Like I think it's just like with a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't yeah. even lift the damn thing. A half dead one. Okay, so which one do which we need to give... Which everyone thought uh... was dead. <laughs> Oops. Let's see, I can move this back again now. Um, and, of course, we usually stuff the turkey with sausage meat. And mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. No, mayonnaise. no that's no, Carl. That's, that's, we yeah. have to slather it with mayonnaise. That's these two. <laughs> Yeah, we're on we're on turkey duty this year. We're gonna have to start earlier. Uh, Car uh, Karen says, "Have tried Norwegian currant wine um, at the vineyard over there. Currant would be uh, rips. Mm -hmm. Rips, yeah, rips, and yeah. black currant is sulbar. This sulbar is the black So we have the sensible, but only because I suggested it. Torben, who's rinsed out his glass, so he doesn't have the taste of the last uh, mm. beers." <laughs> and we have the unsensible Carl, who didn't take it with him and now has... I don't think late. it makes any difference at this point. <laughs> Carl, you look like a witch. <laughs> uh, PJ says, Dad used to just hang the turkey in the cellar and just rip the feathers off down there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the uh, Sive Fjell, the oh, Seven no. Mountains. Uh, no, you way oh, you're way really ahead of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, no, which one? This is the Bermelur. This is the one we actually sell in the shop, I believe. Bermelur, yeah. yeah, this ah, yeah, one we sell in the store. This one smells Sumbul. really good. It does? Yeah, but Bermelur Bermelu is... Bermelur. Uh, I can never say that. Bermelur is the, about an hour from here. Bermelur. Bermelur. Gee, I hope this is good because I'm going to have customers asking me if this is good. I think you guys well, have... Like, can I just have point a out, is it... No, that was of mead. Oh, that was of mead. That was of mead. But I have a question for yes. you. Is it going to taste uh, why good, Why is there uh, pie-powered gazillion banana flies in here? Do you have an answer, Karen? Uh, see, now the thing is, most people get rid of their banana flies around, um, what, like, like the end of the summer, maybe September at the latest. Um, and, you know, you put like a little uh, jar of apple cider vinegar with a couple of drops of um, dish soap in it, and they all die. But let's just say you drink, I don't know, seven to ten iced coffees a day. Uh -uh. And you leave them on. That's not. No, it. that's too low. It's twelve to fifteen. No, no. I was throwing the wrong person under the bus. Thinking about the um, uh, uh, bottle of mead in your. Oh, office. the mead! I think the cork popped off of yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The last time I saw the mead bottle, it was completely full, but now it's half full. There's no cork to be seen anywhere in sight, and about thirty dead fruit flies around there. But maybe that's why I didn't have fruit flies in my office. But that doesn't explain the horde going on in your office. You attract them. They just moved to my place when they discovered the death trap. No, I think it's a three to four weeks worth of ice coffee. Oh, when well, they you have are in there. retiring. Okay, so, so yeah. Bermlu. 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 Okay. Yomasumbl. This is this is the one we sell in the shop here. Four point seven. That one. Actually, I think pretty much most of their beers have this same uh, boat on the front, just different color. And this was 4.7. And thank God this is actually drinkable. Is it? Yeah, this better no, be good because we sell this. <clears throat> it's a very standard beer. Oh, and God. It stinks. Yeah, it smells yeah. like a dead Boy Scout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, it doesn't smell Christmassy anyway. No. It doesn't smell good. Uh, Full disclosure, since we are actually selling it in our store, I uh, might be having a little bit of a bias here, but this tastes like normal beer with no additives. It doesn't taste like soap or perfume or dead gypsies or anything <laughs> like that. It it just smells of them. Dead gypsies, that is. I think this is maybe made with uh, uh, open fermentation. Yeah, that would explain the smell. Okay, yeah. but is it doesn't have any Christmas smell to it, doesn't it? No. Supposed to, does it all Norwegian no, but Christmas uh, beer have open to fermentation? You, you can get this um, outhouse smell. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, who wants to have the Bermlu Bermlu dialect? Bermlu dialect. There's not much really Texas. Sure. Your girlfriend, the territory, right? Bermlu. Yeah, she's from Hadanga. Yeah, but it's not close okay. enough for dormitory. <laughs> it's in the same vicinity, it's in the nearby Oda. Nyta stavkjøl på en rolig kveld, filosoferande over livet, eller godt lag med gode vene. 
Uh, that's from Boss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boss is in around. Uh, yeah. And this is in uh, Icelandic, Old Norwegian. Uh, it's probably Old Norse. Uti vil jöl drekka f skal ein uh, rada. Fylkir en framlundi og freis like heia. Play the games of Frey. Cardin says, Torben, I thought you should know it's kicking right now. <laughs> well, that's a good sign, isn't it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> What's kicking? The new baby. Oh! <laughs> Uti will you the That's why you're drinking your... Congratulations. Filker and Framandi. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and Fred is like Heia. No idea what it means. It, it, it <laughs> in, translated into Sogling. Skål skadle for du blir med So you're not going to have a huge age difference. I'm sorry, you can't get away with this. You're not going to have a huge age difference between your kids. They'll be, what, like two years apart now? Yeah. Because yeah. the other one's a pandemic baby. How was it trying to, you know, give birth? I understand this is something you've experienced personally <laughs> during the pandemic. Well, because it, that was like right in the pandemic. <laughs> I'm probably one of the few men in Norway who mm. has a written... Um, uh, proof yeah. that uh, I was uh, hospitalized in the um, during lockdown. Uh, yeah, uh, at the uh, um, what do you call it? Third of Delling. The uh, b Barsel. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's the it's not what's the birthing department, but uh, uh, maternity ward. Maternity yeah. ward. Thank yeah. you. That's my language. So I, I have a written uh, a note that says that I uh, I belong in the maternity ward. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, because uh, I could go in, but I couldn't go outside again. Then I wouldn't be able to go back inside. Yeah. So because the virus was kind of just hovering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so and uh, and we also had we had a special uh, uh, birth because my son had a heart condition. That's right. Yeah. So we had to stay indoors in Oslo mm -hmm. uh, for one month. I wouldn't yeah. want to go outside of Oslo and outside into Oslo during lockdown. Though. No. That's a lot. Uh, it was like five million people living there. Yeah. Yeah. No, not five million. No, that's all of Norway. No, <laughs> okay, maybe, <laughs> no one million okay, maybe. Okay, in the greater Oslo area, <laughs> no, one maybe million. one million. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it's five million all of Norway, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yes. And soon to be five million in yeah. one... But no, you're used to so American so. standards. Yes. Yeah, we have about four, five Norway <laughs> qualify as a village in America? And you had to wash your hands <laughs> like, um, okay, when you see the bone, you are clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So do you know what it's going to be, boy or girl? Since no, we don't know. Is it going to be a surprise, or do you want to surprise. know? Surprise. Are you going to, like, burst something in the air to find out? Like, a big reveal party? No. <laughs> so boring. I'm not from the States, you know. <laughs> Wasn't there... Oh, there's so many disasters that went... Look at this beer! It's this one we had last year. I remember Bjorn liked it a lot. Uh, Bjorn was from Drummond. Still is, actually. This is called... This is... Oh, I always want to... It's tea, isn't it? No. Nepestapa. How do you... Uh, it's T... Oh. T... No. The, the logo has me thinking. Is it T-Y-A or T-A or T-W-A? T-Y-A. 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 Okay. And it's got Santa, so this has got to be good, I right? Think Santa and reindeer. Is a river. And it's uh, Yuling. Isn't that what you say for beating somebody up? Yeah. Yeah. Yuling, Yule Earl. Okay. A good bashing. Good bashing Christmas beer. And this is from Ordal. And this is from uh, Ordal. Yeah. That's your last name. Yeah, but it's not my dialect. No, no. by all means, no. No. Let me say it in Ordalsk. This mm. is from Ordal White Kuchen. Yeah. <laughs> Ordal is one of the industrial places in Inner Song. So their dialect, probably like 200 years ago, was kind of like his dialect. But then that took in people from Finland, Oslo, and other barbaric nations, and I end up with a dialect that sounds lot of, nothing like nothing else. Is it, you want us to put one of these away from you, Albert? For you, Albert. That was the one he said. We can do that. We have, I think, at least two cases of it. This smells like hydro aluminium. Yuling. Benurlis region, fix kujen for B. Venstra handi held taumen, hagra handi free. Kring varda ein dögnar till normen svenskar och danskar skulle ta sig en lång underbrok och tjocka handskar. Fick glass. Lass, uh, 
That's uh, the wisdom of Odal. Okay, you want to yeah. translate that? <laughs> it's like a whole story on there, but... With the northern lights uh, in your back, uh, the shadows pass by. The left oh. hand holds the uh, reins on the uh, horse. The reins, yeah, yeah, the horse reins. The right hand is free. <laughs> this is some haiku <laughs> shit. <laughs> Around the world in 24 hours, to Northmen, Swedish and Danes, should I wore my long underpants <laughs> and thicker gloves? There you go. I can't help it. Left hand on the reins and the right hand swinging. Does that not remind you of anything? Okay. <laughs> like that. Okay. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> I was thinking of the pony song. <laughs> or pony song? Something from uh, Mad Mike. No, not Magic Mike. Magic Mike, not Mad Mike. <laughs> Magic Mike. That was the... Uh, the okay, pony, double. The what? The pony song. <laughs> I don't know. Virginia used to sing it all the time. Uh, okay. The what? The pony something song. Somebody knows. Somebody knows. It's a pony. It's a dirty song. It's a magic song. Shall I try to give it a smell? I'm trying it more, I think. Is Isn't that it? what I have in there? I don't know what you have in there anymore. Okay, that just smells like regular beer. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that so, Gangman style? No, but I like it. That this could be Gangman style. Gangman style. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little bitter, but it's oh, yeah, mostly do. ordinary beer. Yeah. Yeah, now this one smells like beer with a little bit of a hint of Christmas. Yeah. It reminds me of good old uh, Malta, farmers yeah. beer in Norway. Uh, it, this is typically what you would be uh, recommended with food. Yeah. I think. This was 4.7, by the way. Somehow um, I don't think I'm going to be able to stay for the entire... Christmas calendar that you've got in that box. Oh no, <laughs> the, the big box. <laughs> no, the reason we had to get Christmas. The I know, that's why I'm saying this now. <laughs> no, yeah. it turns out though, I don't think those are all Christmas Let's beers. Open, uh, Should we open the box? Number one. We had, well, we can open one through ten. It's your. Only it's your. It's ten. yours, This Carl. is your bazaar. This is, this is instead of chili balls this year, which by the way, you've got to watch that one. No, you don't. <laughs> Yes, it was about, it was just, uh, it's the first week in December last year, because I remember saying, oh, Carl, we're going to have our first anniversary tomorrow. And then you had to run for the fire extinguisher, and I was like, I don't think we're going to make it. We just made two years, by the way. <laughs> so right. you hooked up on December 1st. December 5th. 5th, yeah. yeah. Apparently we've been dating for like six months at that time without actually dating. Farder microburgery, farder pils, ekta handwerk. That is not Fardar a Christmas beer. Fardar. It looks like the... Uh, where the fuck is that? Fardir? If you take away it's the bottom uh, blue line, it'd be Haiti. Uh, outer parts of the Oslo fjord, fjord isn't it? Fardar yeah. fjord. Tansberg. Yeah. It says... I think you remember. It's your case. Yeah. So nobody yeah. can hear. Yeah. Greg. Just so you know, your uh, stage whisper is carrying very much. So uh, just want to know, if you take one of those chili balls out. and put it in a bag of chocolate and just rub it around a bit the and then take out the chili, chili balls, apparently I it still tastes year. like chili. It's directly proportional to how much beatings you are going to get. <laughs> and it's inversely proportional to how much sex you are going to get. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't do that. This is not, not So <laughs> the more chili balls you You're going eat, red. the less. <laughs> no, it's actually hot. The less I'm going to bang her and the more I'm going to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so what's okay, in... Okay. Uh, no, the, the Yuling was... That, yeah, did you guys like I, this okay. one? You thought it was okay? Yeah, okay. <coughs> what did you think of this one? You might have enough, another it's one. It's uh, a safe choice. Slightly bittery bear. It's yeah. no? good. Probably I would like food bitter. Is it better than this one? No, no, no. Okay. It doesn't okay. have the banana. It's, it's, Is it better than this one? No way. <laughs> okay. If it's bittery beer, then I would hate it. I know Bjorn loved this. This was his favorite pick. Yeah, but yeah. I hate beer. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay, well then. Yeah, but we do have a cider. Yep. Yep, we better crack open the cider if he says he's got to go. Yeah, I will. Christmas cider. Shortly, um, actually, I'm not a big fan. Oh, my gosh. To shake oh, uh, from no food, with so the I taste of I'm raspberry. Really no. With it, Yeah, with the taste of raspberry. Yeah. Excellent. I'm your mailman. <laughs> so oh, the yeah. cider is 4.7%. Oh, <laughs> And well, you'll have to come isn't this what you guys looking... give girls to I get drunk? I know this guy. <laughs> isn't this the stuff you give girls to get drunk? 
Yeah. Because it tastes some, like some sort of okay. some, some men from Kaupanga. <laughs> Girls and lots of burdock. Yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> I have to check. Are you actually delivering parcels to the to the post box and stuff like that? Yeah. The... Yeah, he's he's you know what new all of the parcels are that are coming at the moment oh. are actually Lego figures. I know everything. <laughs> You're gonna do okay, they Okay, calm, it's pink. It's pink, it's oh. bring a bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Torben and Greg are the two biggest Lego collectors in Norway, but um, so Greg ordered a crap load of Legos to be sent to his house, and guess what? Torben is Greg's mailman. I don't think Incidentally, they're... I'm missing one of the parcels I've got coming. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, on to the pink cider. Okay, now I know who to ask whenever I can't so find can uh, parcels. Look how pink it is. I need to smell. I need to smell. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to take that one home with you? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, gods, yes, please. You can take it home with you. Oh, Eulebrus. Yeah, it smells just like Eulebrus. Yeah. Eulebrus is Christmas soda. They do the same thing they do with the beers with soda. If you don't mind me stealing this one. Steal away. She paid you. He paid for it. Thank you, Carl. Well, what are we going to do with all the open bottles? We just give it to the local alcoholics. As far as Eulebrus. This is like. Smell? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Smirnoff ice and the other. Like um, yeah, Karin would, would, would love it. What's the English term for Roosbrus? A soda pop? Uh, no, because Roosbrus would be like any kind of alcohol that tastes super sweet or something. or yeah, And it has so much light. alcoholic that you don't actually realize you're drinking alcohol. Alcohol pop. And it's only graduating students that drink it. <laughs> yes, and girls. And girls, yeah. So the graduating students, they when they, they like party for the whole, I don't know, the last six months of their school year in here anyway. But and then they I, I give all this what, stuff to girls uh, to get them drunk. I guess it's not horrible. If I had another X chromosome, I would probably like it. Um, <laughs> well, See, this is the thing. Parties. I'm prob I probably am going to like this. So <laughs> can I borrow that one now? <laughs> JD says it's called Lego Bricks, not Legos. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you are correct, and I'm glad you said it. <laughs> Lego, Lego. I don't Albers understand is... why it's always got oh, to have room. S on the end of it when they say <laughs> Lego. It's Lego. No, it's actually yeah. not bad. Lego. Yeah? It's that girly, but it's not bad. It's not bad? You, well, have, it, you it don't usually have much luck um, with pink beers. Alcoholic. No, uh, as far as pink goes, this is a uh, better one. Th this is good pink. This is good pink, yeah. This yeah. is good pink? Greg gets to take it home with him because uh, that one he actually does drink. I like the smell of this. But you can't drink it till you get home. No, I know, but... <laughs> it's a good bear for Greg and other girls. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Go ahead, you want to smack him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got the knife and I don't. Okay, next up we have the Seafiel. There's another oh. one from the Seven. Okay, now remember... I they mean, didn't maybe like this, this instead. Nope. So he run. didn't like this one, but look how much different could it be? <laughs> so I, this is Bergen, and this is the Re people of Bergen have so far not managed once to make a bear without putting some kind of irrelevant bullshit in it. Well, they made uh, Svarte Dike. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the two of them drink one. this, and then I'm gonna have to head home. But you, if you know where I live, you're welcome to come and see Lego okay. anytime. But this is a I dark need, beer, dark Christmas coffee, beer. So Merc yeah, Euler. the coffee's also uh, perfectly fine. I, yeah. I don't drink coffee, so... Uh, I will bring my own. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Crack it but open. I do, my father loves coffee and he's got the filter machine and everything. I just don't like it. <laughs> Carl looks like he's going to die. Pruta says, in Russia, all the Lego shops are, have rebranded as World of Bricks. Oh, well, that's just sad. <laughs> that no, World of Bricks is it's a custom. quite funny. Really? Yeah. World of Bricks sounds like a knockoff. But World of Bricks is actually a custom Lego making company. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. They make custom figures. They make custom all sorts of things. I bought World of Brick things myself. And if I know Putin correctly, that's a pure coincidence. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Okay, PJ has a very sticky keyboard. She's probably uh, oh, probably God. drinking too anyway, yeah. but it says, I drink sticky so little. Sticky keyboard. Uh, yeah, sticky keyboard. I Because it was, I drink so little, but it's, I drink so little and so <laughs> rarely uh, that I once got tipsy on my sister's brandy butter. Admittedly, it was actually drombui butter, uh, but it was very strong. Well, look at this one. He drinks, well, he does have beer, but he doesn't take much. <laughs> I've been taking a lot so far. Good yeah. mileage. <laughs> Good mileage. Uh, JD says also they've re rebranded their warships to submarines. Really? Yeah. Pardon? 
Okay. They've rebranded, they have also rebranded their warships to submarines, the Legos. Yeah. Lego oh. bricks, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, the Lego warship, not the Russian Navy. <laughs> I was going to say, I was trying yeah. to work that out. Thank I you. Know. I'm glad okay, you believe that one to Peruta. <laughs> the Moscow wasn't sunk, it was just uh, promoted to somebody. <laughs> I was trying to. Uh, okay, I'm glad that you and I were both confused with yeah. that one. <laughs> Drum buoy is nice. I agree with you, Garcia. Drum buoy is nice. Okay, so what do we think of the uh, other seven fiel beer Why that? Do you think uh, it's not right. I live in Loftus. It's not I'm right. Like, oh, no. Okay. What's wrong with it? I, I don't know. I think I might have burned my tires, but, but it doesn't taste like beer. Yeah, but I don't yeah. Know. yeah. I only did it a couple of times because exactly. it was one of the rare with English tours. It smells like it was dark beer. It smells a little Guinnessy. I did it a couple of times. I live in the big red house. Ah, okay. I think I the know the big dragon, house, dragon villa. So was yeah. this one better than this one, Carl? Better than your good one. Your it's favorite. a safe choice again. Middle of the choice. road. And what do you think of this one? He said it's not. Would you say it's not bad? It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. Yeah. But it smells it's, a little like Guinness. So it's better than Hans Gruber, but yeah, I smell yeah, it. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. I like Guinness. It's not soap. It's not perfume. It's not bear either, but I don't know what it is. Bye, Anne. Bye, Anne. Anne has to go. Uh, JD says, yes, Carl gets it, by the way. Okay. Uh, so, not your favorite? What did you did you say what you liked about this? Did you yeah, say what you said? It's okay. It's okay. It's a safe It's the choice. worst critique ever. It's no, but it's not good. It's not bad. It's boring. Okay. <laughs> okay. As thank far you. as uh, Fiel goes, it's the best one so far. Okay. Do you want to try your Far Dead? Now we're done with all the Christmas beers here, so but now we have the Christmas calendar. This is not a calendar. Christmas beer. No, that's why piece. we. Well, that's but what we figured out. From there. So we opened the Christmas calendar box to take a peek, and they weren't Christmas beers. So we had to go and run out and buy Christmas beers. But anyway, you can have some of these because you clearly aren't drunk enough, Carl. <laughs> Get them over there. <laughs> you want to try the fire dirt? Do you want to open more? I see no reason why not. Okay. My taste buds might not be <laughs> super accurate anymore, but it's so a good job you're not in tomorrow, Carl. When are we testing uh, hmm. Akavit? Now I understand. Ooh, uh, we could test Akavit next next week. We'd Ooh. have to do it. Akavit is uh, you're supposed to have it with ribba because it basically is so alcoholic that it just strips all the fat yeah. from your system. <laughs> if it's Akavit and maybe I can get some mead from the Vin Monopoly and some ciders from there yeah. as well, yeah, then I would join and drink. We could do that next week if I you like wanted those. to. It would have to be next week because Christmas vacation after that. Akavit uh, is uh, kind of a uh, be here if I remember week. it correctly, no, it's kind you. of you can, and I'll have the entertainment. Mm. We can always do it. Kind of a mind. funny story how it came to be because uh, uh, some Norwegian people try to distill spirits and then uh, taste it with herbs, mm. and it tastes so incredibly horrible mm. that no matter what price I put on it, they can't sell it. Mm. So then I decided, hey, maybe somebody in Rio de Janeiro is interested in this thing. Mm. So let's just put it on the ship and uh, ship it out. Yeah. Obviously, they make their own rum, so they're not interested in foreign horrible spirits. Yeah. So they go, no, not interested. <laughs> and it goes back to Norway. Yeah. But now it has been stored yeah. in different temperatures for about a year, and it's crossed the equator twice. Yeah. Uh, and now when it comes back to Norway, people go, huh, okay, this is actually not that bad. Yeah. So one of the gimmicks with Akiwit is that it has to cross the equator at least twice, mm -hmm. ideally four times. Yeah. Oh. So they put it on ships to go back and forth over the equator. Mm -hmm. That sounds like yeah, with the cruise ship. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like with the cruise ship goes on the way from California to Hawaii, it has to stop through Mexico on the way back so they can do tax free because it's been international now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do you think of Fardad? And by the way, where's where's Fardad? No, but you have somebody has to read this. Uh, Tunsberg. 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 <laughs> det er vanskelig å slå en lys, frisk og vellagret pils. Nyansen og renheten i smaken er, har gjort ølstilen til verdens mest populære. <laughs> Råvarene spiller selvfølgelig en stor rolle, men i denne stilen er det mest av alt håndverket, altså teknikken utviklet av bryggerne, som avgjør resultatet. Ja, yeah. is that worth translating? Uh, it's just brewery process. Yeah, this is 
Boring. I'll <laughs> to make bear. Yeah. I'll give it a smell. Short and then translation I'll of what I actually said is: it's a micro uh, Our raw materials are not that good, but we know what we're doing. <laughs> it's going to be a smell. No, it's it's from a micro brewery. Uh, the, the, okay. Well, it's been a lovely evening. Which somewhat all. resembles the and Haitian like I say, flag. Whenever you're up in uh, the area, you're yeah. welcome to come and. I will bang see. your door. Oh, I thought you were going to say I'm something completely glad different. I'm glad you said door. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sorry, but what's in the Lego boxes? <laughs> you do know that they do Lego babies now, right? <laughs> I wonder how Lego babies are made. <laughs> what's that banging noise? It's the maid, man. <laughs> You know the mailman always bangs twice. <laughs> oh god, I'm crying now. Don't open the oh door. <laughs> Don't open the door. Uh, by the way, this is 4.7. Yeah. 4.7. Okay. okay. <laughs> I've got a Lego parcel coming that hasn't arrived and it was posted in October. Do you know anything about this? No. <laughs> I'm joking. I got some new Legos. <laughs> <laughs> You know what Santa brought for Christmas. <laughs> oh dear. My taste buds are not uh, necessarily playing on the same play field anymore. Yeah. So. That's the man who eats donuts with anchovies. Oh, they're only seven kroner now. Okay. But yes, I have a picture of him eating. I almost put that out for the, the Facebook post yeah. with a whole homage to Carl. I had so many pictures to choose from, but one of them was him sitting with an donut with an anchovy on it, but it wasn't yeah. too obvious to the world what it was, so I, he didn't make the cut. <laughs> And you said it's it's not horrible. It isn't. It's pretty good. I did it to freak out like Bola because he doesn't handle this kind of things very well. Yeah. Thank you for a lovely evening all. Yeah. Have a good rest of the evening. Oh, I get to drive their asses home. This will be fun. I want to see images or at least (laughs) videos of when they're uh, finished everything. No, this will Um, go for a little bit longer if you need I know. There you go. It's always up on YouTube. (laughs) You should say. Bye for now. (laughs) If I don't see you before, have a good Christmas, everyone. No, you have to come back and tell stories. Right, okay. (laughs) We got one more Saturday before we go. You are shift leader tomorrow. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. Make a cunning plan for how to use your resources to the best possible outcome. (laughs) Yeah, so that means I'm in the shop. They say bye, Greg. (laughs) You've got about five or six. It's just spamming bye, Greg, now. Um, You're just doing Georg things. Because so Luisa is a better Georg than... <laughs> Luisa is a better Luisa than Georg is. Oh, yeah, obviously. Uh, JD says, the Greg is now returning to his natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> the Greg is. <laughs> to his nest. His nest of <laughs> Legos. his nest surrounded by Lego. It's not made of Lego. Oh, good no. God, can you imagine a nest made of Lego? Oh. It would hurt. It would I hurt. I think it would. But at the same time, it would be wonderful. <laughs> You sounded like Elvis Dumbledore. I put a den made of Lego, just not a nest made of Lego. Um, anyway, I will make a plan for tomorrow, and then I will drink all of this. There you go. Yep. Oh, bye. Okay, bye box number two. How far are we going to go? We can go up to ten days if you guys have enough stomach for this. On the second day of Christmas. You know, we can use these day. again <laughs> for another Christmas calendar. PJ says, it's a long drive back to Somerset now. He lives in Voss, which is about uh, 40 minutes from here. But I like the way you think. <laughs> a Lego nest would be fun, says JD. Caramba. Caramba. Ooh, Mexican-style beer with lime and ginger. This sounds like something <laughs> Carl would drink. Yeah. Just because he, he's somehow, like, um, drawn to these uh, pretty girly colors. Uh, 4.7. No, I would say that the Corona bear is Mexico's... Primary like, contribution like to, civilized, uh, to the civilized uh, uh, world we live in. You know what the Americans call Corona? <laughs> Mexicans standing by a river peeing in it into a bottle saying the, the Americans need more beer. That's, it's, <laughs> that's what they say. Okay. Well, from a country that primarily drinks Dutch beer called Heineken. Um... Oh, that's so skunky, <laughs> that beer. This is from Oslo, Uslo. Uslo, they are die. Oh, yeah, we got to hear Carl read Uslo too. So you opened it up before pouring it, after all that yelling at me? Before reading it, I mean? <laughs> opened it up before pouring it, I'm no. just making trouble for him. Okay. Good luck, darling. Carl, we're going to have to zoom in on this one. I don't know if I can. Caramba. <laughs> uh, Mexican-style bear. Lime plus ginger. 
<laughs> Ay caramba! En frisk meksikansk eh, lager tilsatt ekte lime og ingefær. Ay caramba! Jeg skal påstå å holde fake lime og ingefær. Åh, det sier caramba! Ay caramba! That's about it. There is no more information on this thing. He didn't sound quite girly when he was saying it, though, when he like a four-year-old girl. Okay, girl you, he... you mean the, Ay caramba! Wasn't <laughs> girly. <laughs> no, that wasn't his four-year-old. <laughs> well, it looks like you you're... <laughs> Go for the horn. I see the Mexican peeing thing. Very clearly, no. <laughs> Okay, this Mexican has some medical issues. <laughs> you still actually have 17 people watching you. That's pretty good. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, well, considering I probably don't get more Doesn't than like 24 at a time, that's pretty good. Huh? I'm hoping this is going to end up like something like um, Corona when you use the lime on it. This is box two. This was day two. Yeah. Okay, if a doctor drank this, he would go... Yeah, you have diabetes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know you do? Okay, put that one here. <laughs> it's dribbling down his chin now. <laughs> you can't even swallow. <laughs> it's not horrible. <laughs> it's a very mild bear. Carl is not swallowing tonight. <laughs> I don't... And by I don't the way, really... who? <laughs> I don't really taste the lime, honey, but good mild bear, I would say. Yeah, good Mexican mild bear. Mexican piss. <laughs> uh, PJ says, I will have to do some work on my book soon. Can't write and crochet at the same time. Nope, that's a little tricky, unless you kind of... What book? What are you Yeah, what writing? are you writing, by the way? Yeah, yeah no, there was some... Um... Give me a synopsis. I remember it was written before. Uh, uh, and so wait, you don't have four arms, says JD. Who, me? No, Carl. What not? You don't have four arms? I have four arms. Yeah, no, that's you have fake. Four, arms. four, four, four. Yes, but the other two are attached to her, and she is so difficult to control that it's easier to get by by just using these two. <laughs> Epic fantasy, by the way. Aha. Uh -huh. mm, which not would that's not in reply to what you said. <laughs> <laughs> are we going for? Are we opening well, all ten of these? What okay. makes a fantasy epic? Three. What makes a fantasy epic? Uh, Tora says, my boyfriend got me the Lego typewriter as an early Christmas present. I haven't seen the Lego typewriter. That would be kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, it doesn't work. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you do that? Does it do this, though? You know, the return thing? It doesn't write. No, no, I don't mean that it does. Or type. Nice, um, nice, um, blank. Uh, citrus bregas vet the earl mes smaka grapefruit o apelsin. So grapefruit and orange taste, and it's 4.7%. And there you go. So, something white. Okay. You get to, where's where's Noisan from? Is that, aren't these like all Oslo except for Egid? I don't know. Noisan? Noisan? <laughs> Freista. Okay, you get to read it. it. You get to read it. Hadamune. <laughs> I sounds like we have to make a donation to our neighbors at the end of the Oh, night. yeah, no, we're going to call them up and see if they want their okay. open beer. This is uh, wheat beer. Wheat, vete. Wheat is vete, yeah. yeah. With a taste of grapefruit and orange. Right up your alley. That's not how they say it in that dialect. I know. <laughs> Blank tar vet du en ny fransk sigegate. Krydder den med koriander, citrus og apelsinskal og bonjour. Her er... <laughs> det <trønder>, ja. <laughs> Här är det citrusprega och lite trycker i vetöl med spänstig fruktighet. You mixed your dialects there for a little bit. But it's Oinky Boinky Norwegian. Yeah, Oinky yeah. Boinky. Oinky Boinky Norwegian. I am very skeptical of this. So yeah, you should be. <laughs> How's it taste? Uh, it tastes like... Uh, fish. Ish. <laughs> fish? Yeah, kind of. Is it fishy? That's not good. A Lego typewriter working is what PJ was saying. No, not working, unfortunately. But I wanted to know if it had the carriage return. You should ask it. Does the, JD, does the Lego... Oops. I can turn it this way. Does the Lego typewriter have the carriage return? Because I'm old enough to have actually Ping. used a typewriter. <laughs> you know, like eating corn on the cob for Mickey Mouse? Ding. Anyway. 
Look at Carl. <laughs> now this is... Can you see the bottom? This is so horribly bad that I was just looking to see if I could see the devil water skiing on it. <laughs> <laughs> JD says it doesn't actually type, but the, key, the keys are connected to a hammer and the slide moves. That's what I, the slide is what I was thinking. So that sounds quite cool. I think PJ needs one of those. This was quite boring. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing over there, Carl? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Are you sure you want to open the next four six Intoxicated days? or bad beer? It's a bad beer. It's uh, really a really smell all the way. I we want some blue wolf. You like? Oh, seriously, you've got six more boxes. <laughs> the blue wolf you can buy in stores, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was that yogurt. We got that one. By the way, what was the significance of the blue wolf for uh, Carl? You said uh, that's that he's uh, code name. His <laughs> no, code name is blue wolf. This is the one Carl likes the best so far. But Torben said we had to get it because it had a blue wolf for Carl. I think that is a fox. It is a fox. Yep, I think so too. Yeah, but let's pretend it's a blue wolf. But look at the tail is forked. Split tail. It's a split tail. Mm. Okay, so why would you? Why, what's the significance of Carl and the blue wolf? Uh, I don't know. He came up, the, up with uh, Blue Wolf himself. Uh, but we needed code names because of uh, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I've heard this yeah. story. Okay, no more so questions. So he was Blue Wolf. I was Black Bear. Number four. Uh, codfish is role-playing games. So the codfish is swimming. Uh -huh. That means we are playing role-playing mm -hmm. games. Uh, but the salmon is free. The salmon is free? Yeah, that means that this certain person doesn't know we are playing. Ah, that's right. We're playing a games. Time. So the codfish is swimming, but the salmon is free. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Big box, little Waste beer. Not, what, not. But don't worry. In, in regards to your last Lucky Jack is the name of this beer. Lucky Jack that's original pale, pale ale. Oh, it's yeah. a pale ale. Um, not an Indian pale ale. Uh, brewed by Lerving in Stavanger. There you go. And this Stavanger. is, by the way, uh, where's the percentage on here? I suck at this thing. 4.6? 4. 4. 7? No, the 47, but that's the, actually the area code for Norway. So, no, 4.7. <laughs> You're right. Okay, Stavanger. You have to read it. Yeah, but it's just a bunch of ingredients. But that's so fun to listen to you say it in Stavanger. <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> what then? <laughs> Water. Malt. Malt. Humla. Hops. Yeah. Uh, yeast. yeast. Vattenbygg, humla, yeah. Yeah, ja, det var det. Nå drikker du her nå. Du mente for at du skal på jobb i morgen. No, he's got the day off. <laughs> no, Carl was very smart to not schedule himself to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you will not like this bear. Um, I think I'll make him eggs. The two oh, of us were um, studying to be teachers once upon <laughs> a <the> time. <laughs> and um, one of the things you do in connection with the, um, uh, with the Teachers Academy is that you go out and actually work as teachers on actual schools for a period of time. And? And in this context, we were sent to a school. Because this school sucks horrendous <laughs> horse balls, I'm not going to say the name of the school because I kind of feel that I'm somewhat obligated to the uh, confidentiality agreement I once upon a time signed. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, needless to say that if I knew anybody I cared about who lived in that district, I would tell them to move the fuck away because your school is insane. Oh, that school. <laughs> Yeah, how do you two know each other? You were saying because you went to school together in Songdo. Yeah. Yeah. And the first uh, interaction we had with this school is that the two of us and some other people are sent to basically supervise and help out with a um, one night uh, sleepover in the mountains with these pupils. Yeah, a hike. Oh. Yeah. And we are used to. To not to put to not to find a point on it, we are used to normal schools where people behave like normal people. So we expect that the pupils will be talking to each other like, well, normal people. 
And the first bloody sentence I heard one pupil say to another is, Kav deg no hit herdor in farbanya ya homo. Which means... Get over here, you're, you half homo. Uh, you cursed half homo. Yeah. yeah. Something to that effect. And I'm talking to one of the teachers at the time and she is batting an eyelid, so I just go... <laughs> okay, so this is how we talk to each other here. <laughs> I'll make a note of that. <laughs> No longer politically correct. What did you think of this beer, by the way? <laughs> Is that what I have in here? Yeah, now? that's what you have in there now. <laughs> you're not supposed to drink it that way. If you drink... Oh, no, you're drinking it the right way now. Uh -huh. If you drink it the other way, it ends up on your shirt, I noticed, and down your... Okay. Yes. It's, you it's, always point the horn to your chest. If it's uh -huh. pointing away from you like a funny nose... Uh, if I do it like this, I'll get the wave in my face. When I lift Prove it. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See what you did there. I have to wash those clothes. <laughs> I know. Hi, I'm Carl. You have to wash the rest of it too. I know. <laughs> Jeez. What did you think of the VR tournament? It's okay. You're, it's boring. Your critiques suck lately. No, it's this okay. is good bear. This okay, is that's still the that's yes. the clear winner. Okay. This, this is a good is... one. Yeah. Uh, this is cat piss. <laughs> so it's this bad bear. <laughs> Bad bear. <laughs> and the one Carl likes in the yeah. Nordland. Yes. Uh, this <laughs> one is something um, a chemical experiment went wrong. How are you doing over there, Carl? And most likely people died. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Carl. I know. He's drunk. <laughs> I don't think we should give him. Should we give him any more? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Day number five. This is the first one. <laughs> We this. don't have to open. Oh, this one maybe it's a porter. I've got Mega porter. Rings. Which one is this, by the way? This is the uh, Lucky Jack. This is perfumed bullsh bullshit. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, <laughs> imagine that you take some kind of wild animal, like a badger or something. Yeah. Then you perfume it a lot. Then you shoot it in the head. Then you leave it outside for uh, fourteen days. Then squish it, and you have this. Okay, I was thinking mm. more like take a raccoon, stress it, make it pee, <laughs> and drink the pee. You have to perfume it at some point, but yes. Okay, throw in a bottle of uh, Chanel number five. <laughs> PJ says, opening line of my work in progress. You want to help to find the calendrines? I think I said that right, calendrines. Uh, because the candarin blight is spreading here uh, in the protectorates. Okay. Yeah. What now? The protectorate. You want to help, is the question. To find the calendarines because... Um, I have to get better glasses. Uh, Candarin blight is spreading here in the protectorates. Cherik started from Christu to Tam. His lips spasmed when he threw back his head and roared with laughter. That sounds like me right now. Uh, that's the the open lining to the book. The book, uh, the book is why I'm making up a language and I need ah, one for the okay. Kandari. Well, this is the perfect opportunity to make up a language. Do you want to seriously open the porter, Eger? Eger Porter? It's, oh, course. yeah, no. It's yeah. Sumbel Eger Porter. This is our neighbors. That's what. Uh, I hope at least to be able to say that one of their bears were good. So 4.7. Oh, but Eger usually has pretty good beer. Yeah, I know. I, they have the coolest microbiome brewery in uh, yeah, that I know of. Looks like a stave it's church. It's like a tiny little stave church with a very good uh, pub and restaurant. They have this beer tasting um, event. And uh, the food the is really good. The are getting bigger and bigger. I you know. know. This is a taste test. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. This is me. I've been gambling that this is pretty good. Let's see. Aren't you not supposed to drink it that way so it doesn't go up your nose? After we just had a lecture about that. Oh, that's a good porter. This isn't bad. No. Uh, let me smell. I usually like porter beer, but I just... Kind of chocolate. Oh, that smells good. Mm. Yeah. That, I like it when they smell a little like... What it's, do you uh, call coco chocolate? Uh, cooking chocolate. Baker's yeah. chocolate. Yeah. It's like Guinness, but less Guinnessy. Guinness, yeah. It's a good oh, Guinness. Oh, that would be the beer for me. It's a good Guinness. And it's got an appropriate mm. amount of head on it. Like a Guinness does. <laughs> Do you have an appropriate amount of head on yours? <laughs> no, it's supposed to be 
I'm just say, say, yeah, it looks appropriate. It's like one fist. Okay. <laughs> uh, so a handjob's worth of head. <clears throat> it's a sequel, by the way. Um, and then to tour and pity, it would be awesome if it worked. They'd talk about the typewriter. Uh, but no, unfortunately, it doesn't Where work. Where can I buy the uh, prequel? Sequel. Where can we buy the prequel? What's the name of the book, by the way? Are you not allowed to know the? If it's a sequel, then there's the prequel. What's the name of the prequel? Um, and back on the typewriter, it would be a super awesome if it did. It was actually rather. She was actually rather disappointed that uh, for the price of the Lego typewriter, it wasn't functional. Albert says he needs to find that one. Yes, I think you do. It was uh, good. It was. It smells really good too. Mm. And JD says that yeah, the real working typewriter was about the same price. Oh wow, yeah, no, I would believe it now. Um. Anyway, should we? Do you want it? Are you able to drink any more of these, or do you want to finish off some of these? I am, but I'm not sure about <laughs> the puddle over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number six. I mean, no, we don't usually drink, so this thing would last uh, about twenty-four years. I know years. I'm sober because uh, you are not sober. <laughs> I only have two. Uh, I only have two modes when I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm either aggressive or naked. Oh, that's what oh, yeah. you mean by... Okay. If I'm neither of those things, I'm probably sober. Tor oh, the Sheen Munken Belgian Blonde. <laughs> Belgian Blonde. So now Belgian you have to do blonde. Belgian? This one is... Belgianish. 4.5. Go ahead. Like French? Belgianish. I can do Belgian as long as it's not Dutch. Or actually, it's, it's called Belgian Dutch. Blonde, but where's Sheen? Sheen is... Uh... K-I-N-N. -N. Sheen is... Uh, oh, look at this. Sheen I is, should take this away because um, I got a needle by morning and better if it doesn't smell like beer. Yeah. It's in Sunfjord. not in song. It's in... Sunfjord, yeah. yeah Sunfjord, Nordfjord. Okay, so you have yeah, to read yeah. it with a Sunfjord, Nordfjord uh, dialect. That's him. That's him? Okay, Carl gets to read. I don't think he's capable of reading anymore. I know. I know. <laughs> he's seen double. Give me the finger. Sagan Sankta Sunniva fortæller meg irsk prinsesse og følger henne som flykter over havet og strander på øyene Selja og Kinn. <laughs> om jeg drak øl, fortæller ikke Sogar noe om, men ølbrygging hører som kjent plåsterlivet til, og munkene kom til Selja på 1100-tallet og lager øl med egendyrka humle fra Åge. There you go. Carl, give it a go. You who say you can still read. Well, this is basically my dialect. Well, translate it into uh, Also, German. this is the manly Norwegian dialect. I is am that <laughs> from Selja. Saga om Sankta Sunniva fortæller meg irsk prinsesse og hennar fylje som flykta over havet og strandet på øyene Selja og Kjinn. Om det drakk øl, fortæller ikke Saga noe om, men ølbridging hører som kjent klosterlivet til. Munkene som kom til Selja på 1100-tallet laget øl med egendyrka humle fra Selja, så de fikk nok sitt daglige flytende brød munkene også. Øle passer godt til lettere matretter som fisk og skaldyr, og bør servere oss mellom 6 og 8 grader Celsius. So there you go, how to serve it. But I see you're talking about Suniva, uh, which is actually when we were in Celia last, you were talking about Suniva. Yeah. So last, uh, last uh, Roman holidays anyway, um, between Christmas um, and New Year's Eve, we were talking about that place. St. Suniva. Sancta Suniva, St. Suniva. Yeah, and there's you had yes, Celia in there. Um, mm -hmm. Was it uh, the the saga of Saint, Saint Suniva is told about an Irish princess um, and follows her flight over the ocean to the beaches on the islands of Celia in Chin. That's how you spell Chin, K I N N. There you go. Okay, Jean. what did you think of this now? Because it's you know your neck of the woods. Chin is an island outside of uh, Flora, and. Um, they are kind of part of the legend of Saint Cinema. Saint Cinema herself landed at Celia in my neck of the woods, mm -hmm. but her brother and uh, his uh, party landed at Chin. So Chinna's spellet is um, kind of a reenactment thingy about this. But also, <laughs> as far as uh, Catholic and Orthodox saints go, this is one of the stupider stories because it really, really Mike's uh, god looks like a complete dick. Yeah? Uh, Cinema is a princess in Ireland in the late uh, 900s. So 960, 970, around there, somewhere. And one of the Vikings who is plundering Ireland basically makes her an ultimatum. Either you marry me or I will burn your country to the ground. 
That's she what he said to me, too. Being, no, um, we're not engaged. We're not the first. <laughs> she being a completely incompetent and uh, somewhat mentally challenged person decides to go for alternative three. So instead of either taking him up on her, his ultimatum and thereby saving her country, or going to war with him and thereby avoiding marrying a Viking, she decides to take her and some of her followers and go to a ship, several ships actually, without sails and without oars, and leave it in the hands of God where they end up. God must have been in a particularly nasty mood that day, because he sends her right across the ocean to Celia. That's where I'm from. The problem isn't the place, the problem is the time. Because he sends her to Norway during the reign of Håkon Sigurdsson Jarl. Håkon Jarl is about as close as the uh, re religious fanatic as you ever get with the pagans. Mm. So he really, really doesn't like Christian people. So this is the worst place in the world for her to be. And uh, according to the saga, obviously, these good Christians didn't steal anything. But the local pagans, my ancestors, thought they were stealing their sheep and goats that they had grazing on this island. I don't know why they would do that. So uh, being uh, incapable cowards, instead of going and dealing with these uh, pacifist Irish people themselves, they wait for Håkon Jarl to come by because, well, it's Norwegian coast. He is a Trondar and he likes to be in Trondheim, so he has to go by sometime. <coughs> they just hang around and wait for him to come by. And when he comes by, they go, and by the way, there are some foreigners on that island that you might be interested in dealing with. Håkon Jarl goes, okay, sounds like fun, I'll deal with it. So he and his entire fleet comes to the uh, natural harbor at the Selia Island. And meanwhile, Sant Cinema and her uh, followers are sitting upside in, uh, up in a natural cave and praying to God for God to save them from falling into the hands of the pagans. And God, again being a dick, <laughs> decides that, okay, I'll save you from falling into the hands of the pagans, so I'll just cause an avalanche that kills all of you and thereby you won't fall into the hands of the pagans. So... She and all of her followers die. Good work, God. A uh, few years later, Håkon Jarl is murdered in a uh, pigsty by his trial Kark. Olav Tregvason oh, becomes king Norseman. of Norway. Kark. And uh, yeah. while Olav Tregvason is in Trondheim, uh, some traders come by the island, they see some weird supernatural lights and they walk onto the island to basically investigate. They find bones that glow in the dark and smell nice. They think this is very weird, so they bring them with them to Trondheim and show them to the king and the bishop. And they go, oh, this is obviously the bones of saints. So they go back to the island and basically investigate. And Olav Tregosson then finds the body of Saint Suneva that looks like she is sleeping. She has not even decomposed in the probably about 10 years since she died. So she declares her a saint and he builds the first wooden church. And that's about in the year 97, 997. So in 1997 was... Um, the, the thousand years thousand. anniversary of the Norwegian church because the first church was built then. That's also when I removed, when I moved, I was going to say removed, that's also when I moved to Norway. Yeah, I think that considered the uh, thousand years anniversary of Christianity Absolutely. to be a little bit more important. But so there's actually a, one thing I was going to say, uh, actually 10 minutes to 8, so we'll make this the last beer because otherwise two hour, more than two hours is pushing it. But uh, there is something else in here that you should see. Um, they were suggesting, how would you guys, Purdue was suggesting, how would you guys feel about a Zoom hangout for us dedicated watchers? Uh, and JD says, imagine using Zoom instead of Discord. Uh, can Zoom run at the same time as YouTube, says PJ, but I think I'm kind of with uh, Prude on this one, saying, no, let's do it straight after these, then we can chat freely. We could do that one time, too. Actually, that would be kind of fun. So it's yeah, like, yeah. You can record it. Yeah, you can record the Zoom. That's yeah. no problem. We've done that yeah. before for our tours. We do our I tours. don't think you can uh, 
do it directly live on YouTube. No, no, no. You'd have to do it right after. Yeah. But that could be kind of fun. Uh, we do um, we do our online guarding. Carl and I have online guarding uh, in the village, and we do that yeah, over Zoom. Yeah, we use uh, Zoom in Carantana yeah. Pills. In Carantana Pills? That's yeah. right, I can hear it, actually. When so we playing. actually have video of the podcast, but um, uh, we can't show it. Uh, no? In episode number one, uh, Magna tried uh, his new um, shaver. Yeah. yeah? Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, my God, I wanted to tell, tell the story. This was so good. <laughs> This he bought a new uh, racer, yeah, yeah, machine, for his head. Yeah, and I was, I kept nagging on on him. Uh, <laughs> what about the other head? Does it work? <laughs> Does it work? And so he tried. So he stood up, and when you stand up, and when you have a, a Zoom recording, you are sitting like we are now. But when yeah. you stand up, you you get a nice view. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't work. That's what sold me on your yeah. podcast, by the way. So, so another thing you... I'm oh, sorry, continue. No, I, that oh. was it. He, he shaved his pubes. <laughs> uh, and nobody else but me and Oystein could see. And it was... It was hilarious it by was the sound of it. was not a good picture. <laughs> <laughs> did you get him to shave his armpit hair and some other things yeah, too? Yeah, <laughs> we did. But uh, there is something about Magnar and nudity. Uh, he, yeah. Basically. Magna and nudity, not Carl and nudity. No, Carl and nudity. Uh, well, there is something about that too, but <laughs> Magna basically saved my ass from being a um, uh, thrown out persona non grata at my area for at least a uh, few weeks, if not maybe a half a year in worst yeah. case scenario. Yeah. Because Drunk and me had this stupid idea that I was trying to get this girl to wear Send one item of clothing less than me. And I'm down to one item of clothing, and she is down to her um, underwear, basically. And then the Vaktschaf, the person who is responsible for this uh, place that actually does serve alcohol and has the reputation to uphold, comes out and says, the two of you, I want your names, and I want you to leave now! <laughs> and then Magnar does this weird thing where he basically undresses to basically our level and says, hey, I'm just sunbathing. The yeah. sun isn't up, but hey, if it is acceptable that... I'm from Sarp and Enkelmotten that this is the acceptable clock of sex, tomorrow for fun, we are acceptable clock at all. To put it simply, if this is okay at uh, 6 o'clock, then it should be okay until 12 o'clock, he yeah. says. So there's something I, there's also something um, Torben does on his podcast. Every single you're really good at this. Every time you change a, a theme, you um, a new spalt anyway, a new column. Then you play this musical instrument. Would you like to explain how your some of your melodies? Yeah, it, it's <laughs> one of uh, my boys' uh, toys. Uh, my uh, little son has a remote control <laughs> with uh, seventy two sounds on it. Yeah. Which, by the way, was a Christmas present from Magnar. I will kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but we use that as a, a, a jingle machine. Yeah. Yeah. So you hear everything from car horns to. Did your kid ever get to play with it, no. or just you? No. <laughs> it's in uh, the same uh, suitcase as the microphone and uh, everything, so uh, mm -hmm. he doesn't have to get the chance to play with it. So before we go, because we gotta go, um, gotta cut this somewhere. Can you play us <laughs> in our beer garden here? Can you play us yeah. a melody? I see you have something that you can make noise with, and I gave you all the bottles. Oh, we have to make a, a, a jingle. We have to make a jingle. Yeah. Yes, a jingle for the uh, Christmas beer tasting. <laughs> Let's see here. This has a small amount of beer. There a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I see your phone is ringing. Oh, it's, it's my aunt. Oh, you better finish up then. <laughs> She's probably drunk. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't know okay. anybody else in your family at the moment. So that was... this is the good night. Uh, okay, the good night thing, yeah, because yeah, we should good go. Good night, you all. I was... <laughs> <laughs> With that, I think we better go. Seriously, it's at two hours. But we'll definitely have to do the Zoom thing. we got to bring you back. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna bring. Well, I don't know. You'll come up with an excuse. I'll show like five minutes of needle binding, and then you guys. Oh, you guys are hilarious. And Carl, I don't admire the hangover you're gonna have tomorrow. No, but I'm not working tomorrow. No, you're not. Because I'm a cunning planner, and I. Uh... I'm gonna serve you runny eggs before I go to work. 
just because it's like the worst thing to have when you're <laughs> I'll get you a bucket. No. Okay, say goodbye. We drank Say goodbye. Everybody says saying, I have to pee. You got a lot of people saying goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. See you next Saturday, same time. We'll be in Goodwangen. Okay, now I have to end it. Bye. Bye. They hung up.